Sometimes I see a place and I just think, how? Delia, I'd like you to meet my friend Alec. He'll be staying with us. We are gonna have so much fun! <laughs> Great! It'll be good to have a happy face around. Come on, I'll show you the base. Lead on, half-robot man! Hey Adam, may I have a word with you? Sure, what is it? This little furry thing is your friend, you say? Oh yeah, we go back. And you brought him here because you actually care for him. Yeah. I still can't figure you out, Adam. But I need to ask you a favor. There was supposed to be a second cargo drone that was shipped along with the one I was in. Any idea where it could have ended up? It's probably at the GNB station where they tried to send you to. I don't know which one that is. I didn't even know they were shipping me into the DMZ at all. I could get the station ID from the servers at Naria Transit Point, then ask around. I have a few contacts at GNB. Should be no big deal. I need to head back to Prescott soon, but I can try to slip this in somewhere in between. Thank you, Adam. That would be very helpful. Sure. It's the least I can do.
Look who it is. You're dealing with me from now on. Hi, Daryl. So, now I get to know where Maddox is for real, right? Yeah, he leases the biggest hangar in Avonrest, a settlement here in Union. But so far as what kind of reception you're gonna get when you arrive there, we hold no responsibility. Maddox has good reason to be a deeply paranoid individual. Who else has been looking for him? Hard to say. It's just murmurs on the wavelengths. Okay, see you around. Uh, oh, hey, before you leave, in case you're interested in doing us more favors and earning some credits, talk to Marianne over here. Sure, as long as she doesn't have anything else up her sleeves. I do not understand. Oh, wait, you are referring to your first visit. An unfortunate incident. I extend my apologies. It's quite all right, Maria. It was out of your control. So, what can you offer me? Please let me inform you about the station's job board. I have the clearance to inform you that there are jobs of special interest if you succeed in doing some of these. I'll have a look. must have what we're looking for. potential targets for you.
spie. that you have been tasked with neutralizing.
asked me to extend his thanks. Welcome back, Mr. Roslin. Mr. Kato would like a moment of your time, if you'll wait just a moment. So long as I don't have to deal with that jerk. Tell Uncle K, I've got it, toots. So I did some favors from the job board. What's next? Hey, now, no need to get testy. I've got good news for you. Mr. Kato is pleased with your recent work. Why can't he tell me himself? He doesn't have time to personally deal with every hotshot who floats our way. But he has asked for you to handle something that requires a little more discretion, and compensates correspondingly. I'm listening. A simple task, retrieval of a valuable asset. What is it? Not it. She. Codename Clockwork, and the best damn safecracker in a business. Okay, so when you say discretion, you obviously want this asset to remain on the hush. Obviously. But we got word the Okar authorities are interested in her whereabouts. She poached from the wrong dirty aliens. She's been hiding out, but our sources say they're getting close. Don't you have a way to warn her? She shut down long-range comms to avoid detection. I'm not so sure I want to start messing with the Okar authorities. It's an in-and-out job. If you're fast enough, you should get there before them. We need you because your ship ain't tied to our organization. I hope I don't regret this. At the first sign of trouble, I'll bail. 
It won't come to that. Like I said, it's in and out. Kato's minion is hardly a reliable source. You believe you can undertake this operation without the Okar discovering you? Like he said, in and out. Let's find this codename clockwork and make the extraction. This place is a lot more crowded than I remember it. Let's see what this is about. No oh, scrap, it's management's elite squad. Did you not say that you were on good terms with Gradient Brunt? Well, GNB isn't always just simply GNB. Let's try to stay alive for now. fighting Greedy and Brandt was such a good idea. My database failed to turn up any entries on this elite squad. Yeah, you won't find any. They're a kind of secret thug squad working for head management, all off the official books. Our foreman would threaten to turn us over to them when we didn't fall in line. We're lucky to be alive. I am making a note for further reference. They seem to be moving provisions out of Cito. I wonder what was going on here.
says that Delia's belongings were shipped to Neftis Station. Guess it's time to pay Officer Shaw another visit. Is he one of the good kind of GNB, or the kind you shoot on sight? I am certain he is one of the good guys. This is becoming confusing. I'm afraid you have come at an inconvenient time. What's wrong? We were just ransacked by our own head management. Blakemore's elite squad removed large amounts of provisions and weaponry from our hold. When it comes to cutting lifelines, this is a new low, even for management. Are you sure they took it all? I recently passed Nerea Transit Point and all I saw were a bunch of cargo drones waiting to be scanned. But no one around to move them anywhere. Could be the stuff you're missing. You must be joking. Agnetha sent me all data coming from the transit station. Well, I'll be. You're right, Mr. Rosalind. Looks like someone reshuffled our hand for us. Is there anything I can do to repay you for this situational update? Actually, I'm looking for a cargo drone with this number. I was told that it was sent here. Let me check. Ah, I remember. AAPY was part of a shipment containing new medical personnel. We had sent out a request for a new doctor, but only their luggage arrived. Since we had no use for their possessions, we dumped the cargo drone in a nearby junk hole. You might still find it there. Excellent. Thank you. Losing a full-blown doctor was just as bad as getting our provisions halved. Maybe worse. As it stands, I have two miners in Medbay with only an unskilled AI operator treating them. So, should you ever find out what happened to the lost doctor, don't hesitate to tell us. I'll look into it. I am certain you will. Godspeed, Mr. Roslin. It was good seeing you again. the aforementioned junk hole. 
Seeing this, I wonder if Delia's stuff is still in one piece. Deposit ready for extraction.
You're back. It's been a bit of a journey, but is this what you've been looking for? Looks about right. Let me check. A friend of mine called Shaw told me where to find it. He's the chief officer of Neftis Station. That's where they were shipping you. He's a good guy. Told me losing a doctor put them in a pretty tough spot. Aw, oh, damn it. What is it? Those bastards took my research files. I had made certain that they would be shipped along with me, but G&B must have removed them after they froze me. What kind of research? Medical stuff. You wouldn't... Sorry, I don't want to take this out on you. It just looks like G&B screwed me over far worse than I had thought. So, what were you saying about this Shaw? Forget it. It's not important. They're missing a doctor, huh? I'm not very keen on moving to their base, but I could set up a secure line and talk to them. If they have any medical emergencies, I might be able to assist them remotely. You are aware that they're G&B, right? I do, but I am a doctor above all else. Once again, I'm walking back into my forest with open eyes. The, um... It's a reference to a song. At least my books and music are still in that box. It will keep me sane for a while. What kind of books? All sorts. Guilty pleasures, high art, most of it pre-offworldian stuff. But I like it. Hey, once things have calmed down a bit, I could give you an introduction. I would like that. Good. We have an appointment. Well, I gotta get back to my lab. Thanks again, Adam. You're welcome. <laughs>